the word of Yahweh was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. I said, Ah, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. But Yahweh replied, Do not say, I am a child. Go now to those whom I send you, and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to protect you. It is Yahweh who speaks. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Through some very rocky terrain, and I remember just looking all, at all the rocks and thinking how life is like that, you know, that the path isn't always so clear and smooth and straight. I learned how to pray the rosary. I really did, because I did not know how to do it. <laughs> I, don't, I feel good. I don't feel that tired anymore. And Anthony is a great person. You know, I had told him to just go ahead and, you know, not to worry about me, but he wouldn't leave me. There aren't people out there all the time like that. Like, they won't always wait. They won't always make sure you're okay. The first day, I think we were making friends with each other and making friends literally with the walk. Second day, we met some people from the States. How are you? Your name? Lilima. Lilimus. Hi, pleased to meet you, nice Father. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Christine. Christine, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Ryan, hi, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Chris, Chris hi. Man. How are you doing? Uh, I'm going to die. Come on. Thank God Darcy showed me how to wear my pack, so it's not like <laughs> crushing the life out of my shoulders. So I think Dar good. Darcy's the mother hen. I know, I've seen this. Because I think that we're not going to get into uh, a palace story until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. How does it do She's the only girl who's up. I love the family. There's something in my heart that I, I understand it. You need that understanding also if you're a priest to right. understand the family so you can help the families. And uh, poverty, simplicity, and I love silence. Like, it's a funny thing because you ask anybody that Well, then stop me. talking. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we finally made it to Plaza del Rey. Just say I felt delirious from the walking, the backpack pain, the, the blisters on the feet. A little blister action going on. Try some liquid bandage. Oh, okay. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Two of our companions had not joined us yet, uh, so we're sitting in the in the, the bottom of this this hostel hotel, and Father James and Father Rob walk in. And oh, hey. Hey. Oh, it's going good. Hey, it's going good. Hi, how are you? Good. How's everything going? Um, that was really joyous when they kind of walked in. Everybody erupts like, yes, they actually came. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling physically? Um, yeah. I'm not really tired, it's my feet. <laughs> 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 you get to find out the albergue early enough. He's always kind of taking his time to put nails and everything. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> 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 We kind of just got up to speed as to where everyone was at and went, uh, walked through the town for a while and then just got ready for mass in the evening. It was, it was a beautiful experience because we're stopping, we were stopping at different churches, uh, you know, Father Caroli and Father Kegron and my senior Harrington were doing mass there. At the end of Mass, this man walks up to Our Lady and just starts singing a song.
Yeah. 